We're uh, back at it again. This is the adventures of Tyler and Lucy and Target. Hey? Yeah. Here's my little shovel. And the little thing won't start. So, I'm going to do some hunting and see what I can figure out. I believe it's the little safety switch on the arm. So I took the plastic cover off. You don't need to see me spin a few nuts off and take a plastic cover off. Anyways, I got down to this little safety switch. And uh, I'm sure that is. So I'm going to take that safety switch out. And I'm going to put it on a manual toggle. Be a really good anti-theft switch. So I'm going to tuck the toggle switch just out of sight. But I'll show you what it does when she uh, don't start. On. Let the glow plugs run. And when we head back here to start it, she don't start. The relay by jumping it and she starts. So it's not a solenoid problem on the starter and it's not even a relay problem. I swapped out the relay. So, and when it was running, the pilot, not pilot control, but the hydraulics were working when the safety was up. So it believes that the safety switch is not in safe mode and that's why she won't start. I believe that's the little problem and I can tell she's been switched before. See them quality bent bolts? Not really factory, so we're gonna bend them out of there, I guess. The little switch out, cut it off, strip the wires, uh, tested it again. I'm gonna put the toggle switch on. And that'll be my brand new anti-theft device. I had to get a double function toggle switch. So the toggle switch is in this position which operates the black and the white. And it's in function mode I guess. So when you try and start the excavator when she's in this position she won't start. So that's the position you'll be in when you're operating it. And when you're in the other position, that's your start position. So when you go over to start, let the glow plug run for a minute. You start, but she won't function. So when you change your function over, now she functions. So obviously you shut the switch off, I mean your key switch, because it was in function mode, she won't start, so it's kind of like a nice, so I couldn't think of a more wonderful spot to put my anti-theft slash safety switch. She's underneath the handle, she's kind of tucked in a spot, you'd never notice it unless you're really looking for it. So, if it happens to me, they will take a longer time to figure out how to start my toy. I hope nobody's machine ever gets stolen. Ooh, anti-theft device. Hmm. Let's see how she works. Ah, oh, don't start. Here's just some food for thought. If they do run down to the relay and they boost the relay to start the machine with that little toggle switch, it still won't move or function. So I think it's a pretty decent little thought for an anti-theft switch. I had to replace the safety switch anyways and the toggle switch is cheaper than the new safety switch. So I saved a few bucks and I created like two different types of anti-theft on my little shovel. There you go guys. Hope you enjoy my little video. I hope it helps you on your journey.